Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a walkthrough on my Halloween. This is our witch. She seems to be all alone. I couldn't find anything else to put her with, so. Patty's rose bush with a spider web below it. You can see it there. And a focus and a spider web above it, right there. Yeah, well, you get the idea. That's uh, Andrew's bedroom window. It's already blued up uh, from, or I should say, black lighted. That's our bushes. Let's back out a little. Here's our cemetery. I'm, where, I'm backing up to get it all in the shot. I'm probably going to back into the telephone pole or something here. We have two black lights on the ground there, two on the other side and two that are illuminating the tombstones. I'll try to go slow, but it seems to be going out of focus. You see that one facing us there, and that other one. And they help to illuminate the tombstones, as well as the ones on the ground. We'll just go slow across. This one in the back there, right in the middle, looks like it's blurring out, but what it is is it's nighttime and the camera's having a hard time. Our Reaper there, who watches over the graveyard, he talks and everything, he looks really cool. He has a lot of different sayings. This is our boneyard. We got the skull with the two hands on the ground, we have the ones in the background. Which is just parts and we have these two skull columns here sort of guarding the graveyard here's the rest of the graveyard I used uh, fluorescent paint of course to light everything up in the black lights has a dark gravestone here but the skull in the middle he lights up there's another one, dark what, gravestone over there on the other side too, but it's slightly painted up with things and the eyes light up on three different skulls on that one, so you don't need to really paint that up. Here's our freaky little werewolf neighbor was kind of freaked out by this thing. And here it says, beware of dog, and then underneath it's scratched off and the werewolf is written in its place. There he is, a little freaky. And behind, we uh, try to lighten things up there. Then we got a little Snoopy, or actually a very large Snoopy. He's almost five foot tall. On, sitting on his pumpkin in the great pumpkin patch. We have the Count here. Come on, Count, pop your head up. There you go. Hello. And he goes up and down. It's one of the few blow-ups I really like because it's functional. And here we have the witch that didn't know how to fly in the room. She crash landed. And uh, now let's get a close-up on the porch here. We have a trick-or-treat sign here of course and we have my new newest buddy. He's sitting there relaxing. I should put a beer in his hand, I think. Maybe a cigarette in his mouth. I don't smoke, so, anymore. I don't have cigarettes to put in his mouth. And what we try to do is lighten it up a little here by putting pumpkins and boo and happy Halloween so the kids aren't afraid to come up to the front porch. Tonight we added these uh, walkway lights so the kids, as they're coming up, don't trip on anything. And this video it actually looks better than the actual ground lighting right now. You can actually see where the curb is so the kids won't trip them, trip on it. And then on this side, we have these skulls, which I got at a garage sale many years ago. Actually, I think it's the same garage sale that I purchased uh, who I call Eddie, and you'll see him in a little while. And these are homemade gravestones uh, I got from a guy who sold me a bunch of Halloween stuff for $150. And I got 
fog machines and a lot of stuff, which you're going to see in a little while, uh, that came from him. Most of those tombstones out there were just plain tombstones, and I painted them to make them glow in the dark, and I also got them from him. And here is our original Grim Reaper from many years ago. It's a little hard to tell. He's so dark right now, but you can see the face, the hand, the body somewhat in this video. Okay, and here's my pride and joy coming up. This is my spook house. We'll show you a little part of it here. This projector I've had for years. I don't always have it in here. One, one or two years I had it projecting on the front of the house, which looked pretty cool. And it's just a single picture, but Okay, this item here, I got from the same guy that sold me the stuff in the garage sale, or New York State, I should say. A uh, skeleton on the right side of him, and a little skeleton I had already, but we do something special with this one because it's Eddie, and this frightens a lot of kids. We put him way up there. Wait, I'm getting a lot of the black lady there, but that's Eddie up there. I gotta go up and straighten the scarf out. It's a little messed up. And here we do our projection. Our Halloween uh, projector. Something else I added here this year is my wife's fountain that was on the front. I colored the water red. Actually, it looks kind of orange pinkish, but uh, I gotta get more food dye. Make it red. And we add a little smoke coming out of the top. I have a little atomizer or a fog maker, they call. Most of these items here I had a hologram. Look at that hologram. Oh, that's funny. All right, I'm getting a reflection off that. But this guy who talks when I have him on, uh, his, uh, it, it's funny, you'd have, just have to hear it. And here we have, uh, this should be this way. This is a, uh, my son actually got that at a garage sale himself, I believe. And this is a brain which talks when I have it on. And I have it surrounded by chain here. And uh, this is a cool thing I got many years ago at uh, CVS, or I believe. <laughs> I always like these guys. They dance, they do like half the song. And we have uh, roses, black roses, purple roses, skull. Bunch of bones down here and skulls. And everybody hates things that come out from under your bed. Well, this is out from underneath the, uh, the shelf here. His name is actually Marcus the Carcass. I have two of them. This one I stuck under here. Might be a little hard to see because it's not focusing in because of the creepy cloth that's around them. Come on, come up one more time. I can't really see it. Alright, so. Alright, here, like I said, the projector was there, and below the projector are some flickering lanterns and this head. I'm sure that'll. Oh, man, we've heard the. Uh, this is pretty freaky. I, I like this thing. I don't want to scare everybody away, but that looks like a real head. And here's a mask that I turned into a guy, and I put him into a coffin. And there's the other skeleton to match the one that's in the back there. And this is another cool addition I got from the guy from New York. It is a bat, and I added a little color to his ears and his... Whatever these things are that are orange, I don't know what they're called. I guess they're like our thumbs. This guy was from last year. I like him, he was uh, pretty inexpensive and easy to paint and make look better. Here is what we call Crypty. He, his eyes light up red, his body lights up blue, but he's not currently on. And he used to have arms that lifted that tombstone that is now behind them, but doesn't work anymore. It's a broken. And then we have a uh, different color lights. Let's back up. 
these are LED lights. Uh, they don't cost much, like around three, maybe four dollars a piece. They have remote controls to change either solid colors or mixing colors like they are, make it smooth, faster, slower, dimmer, brighter. Pretty cool stuff from China. And this is a witch I got from that guy from New York again. Part of that garage sale or whatever you want to call. I like her. I had to fix her up a little. Her arm was her hand was off and blah blah blah. And here we have my skull with their meteor lights. Look like dripping blood. And let's back up so you can get the whole thing in view here. Looks like this camera is taking pretty decent video. I'll know when I play it back. This camera was supposed to be really good for this kind of thing. We'll find out. Anyway, that's the spook house section. Like I said, we had the grave, other graveyard there. And oh, yeah, some people campaigning for uh, Board of Education in Oldbridge. And we're gonna go across the street and take a video. And this is what it looks like from across the street. And we just had another person slow down and look. And we'll just come walking over here. The neighbor's car. And we'll stop right here, let it focus, and get an idea of what it all looks like. 